Okay, give her. Okay, landlords are taxed Waterloo bylaw on rental housing. Um, Waterloo Council is expanding its rental housing bureaucracy, even as upset landlords attack the city's rental bylaw. Politicians voted Monday to recruit a three citizen tribunal to hear appeals from landlords who are uh, denied a rental license by City Hall. The tribunal is part of a new rental housing bylaw proposed this month, despite concerns raised by the Ontario Human Rights Commission. The bylaw requires landlords to pay up to $825 for a license to rent bedrooms and houses and townhomes. Apartment buildings are exempt. Council says the bylaw improves property standards and tenant safety and helps preserve campus area neighborhoods. Critics say it creates red tape, increases rents, and interferes with businesses. Landlord Mike Ball of Glaze Properties estimates the bylaw has cost him $960 for each of his 52 rental units, the equivalent of a 9% rent increase. He contends the bylaw is unfairly applied, but has not pers persuaded council to exempt him. I think everyone was put together, I think everything was put together too quickly, too haphazardly, he said in the interview. Um, <clears throat> and uh, an another item here, inquiries launched into rental housing licensing in North Bay and Waterloo. Two public interest interest inquiries by the Ontario Human Rights Commission will explore if new rental housing licensing bylaws in North Bay and Waterloo create discriminatory barriers to rental housing. New bylaws in the two municipalities come into force in the next few months. Waterloo's on April the 1st, 2012. North Bay's on May the 1st, 2012. Housing is a fundamental human right, says OHRC Chief Commissioner, Commissioner Barbara Hall. While rental housing licensing can be a valuable tool for promoting the safety and security of tenants, the ability to license must not be uh, a license to discriminate. We want to make sure this isn't happening. The inquiries are, are being conducted under the OHRC's Human Rights Code mandate to promote, advance, and protect human rights in Ontario. This includes identifying and working to eliminate discriminatory practices in areas such as housing. It will help the OHRC to discover potential discriminatory effects of licensing policies on code protected groups, identify possible solutions, and suggest ways municipalities can draft bylaws that respect and protect human rights of tenants. Uh, these two items um, have to do with the, um, the topic that Kayla is going to talk to us about. So I'd like to set this aside and, and give Kayla the floor and proceed with the other items after Kayla's finished. Kayla? Thank you. Thank you.